bum 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 what's going on everybody it's your boy blue raven and welcome back to magic mondays uh today we're gonna do something a little bit different um well i mean i know it's only my second video for this but i'm gonna try something a little bit differently <coughs> excuse me uh we are going to build a deck I'm going to show you how I build decks, and we're going to go from there. We're going to go with red. So I want to build an aggro deck. So aggro decks are all about quick, quick, quick damage. So you want goblins are always good. So put goblins in there. Uh, the first thing we want to do is we want to go in our deck. Um, um, <coughs> uh, do, 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 land. Um... Uh, I want to reduce the amount of land because we already have we have 25 land. I don't want. Oh, here we go. Okay, so I want to bring this down to. I'm bringing this down to 15. Oops, I want to add land. So we put that in there. I want to maybe put some non-basic lands in there. See what I have. Uh, if there's any of them do anything, no. Okay, so we just want to be at 15 land. We don't need that many land. Okay, back to here undo that back to red um now what these are is if i have a mythic if it's if there's a grayed out like card that's a mythic i can i have two of them i can unlock um so the goblin triggers i want four of these guys if i can get four of them yeah i can so four of those guys uh shocks will do as many of those as we can that's a quick damage spell Okay, so we have four shocks, three, oh, we only put three in there. Let's put another one in there. Okay, so right now, um, again, I always like to do 15 land, five artifacts, 10, uh, 20 creatures, 20 spells. That's kind of how I like to do it. Um, so let's put lightning strike in. Two, three, so that's eight. Uh, yeah, I can use one of those, that's fine. So I have common, I have these common ones, I have six of them, so it just turned one in, it, it made one for me. Okay, so again, we're looking for more like goblins, because goblins get out quick, and they do a lot of damage. Um, so we'll put him in there, put two of him in there, that's, cool, that's all I have of him. Ogres are good too, anything that has haste is, is, a, is something else. Okay, Spirit Flame deals four damage to target creature. When uh, when a dragon enters the battlefield under your control, you may pay one if you do return it from the graveyard. We're not gonna be putting, I don't think dragons in this deck. That's not what this deck's about. Wait, wait, Goblin Warrior. I missed one here. What's me Menace? Uh, a creature with Menace can't be blocked except by two or more creatures. Oh, okay, yeah, put him in there. Make him hard to kill. Which makes me want to do this. I saw this this here. Because we have 12, 13, 14, 15. So we got five more spells we can put in. I do like this Phoenix. Because you can't ever kill it. Yeah, I want to put that in there just because you can't kill it. Other goblins you control. Uh, get plums from sacrifice going to and we're gonna actually gonna we're gonna use one of our rares for him so I want I want I want two of him in my deck so we got 36 how many so many creatures do we have right now we have one three six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve oh no no eight it's twelve so 12 creatures, okay. If we can't do all all goblins, we'll throw some other stuff. Like here, I want to put, I always want to put lightning axe in her. This is a common, so I want. All right, so how many spells do we have? Let's see, four, eight, um, four, eight, nine, 10, 11. Uh, 
12, 13, 14, 15. Don't I have more than that? Hmm, 15. Okay, cool. Trample haste. Okay, 15, 16, 17. This is a burn deck. It's an aggro burn deck. 17. 18. And, uh, let's see. Siege Gate Commander. We want. I want as many Siege Gate Commanders I can get. Can I get one more? Yeah, I'll put the three Siege Gate Commanders in there. Because they bring out Goblin Tokens. So. Like, it's kind of what we're looking for. Any multicolored ones we want? No? Okay. So now we have to go back and we have to figure out. We're at 47 out of 60, so we, we got to figure out what we want. Um, whenever you cast an insert source, you pill, put a counter on it. Remove two counters from the Yeah, but I need to use a blue for that. All right, so we can put some we can put some dragons in here, like just some big stuff at the end. So we'll go ahead and put um, like him because when he enters the battlefield, he deals damage. Um, spells. Let's see how many spells we have. Four, eight, eleven, eleven. 14, 14, 15, 16, 17, 17, okay. 17, 18, uh, okay, so 18, let's get our spells done first. There we go. Okay, so now we want to do like haste. That guy's got haste, so I'd like to put him in there. So I got three of him. See, now we're, we're getting close. We're getting close to where we want. Anything with haste. We did put a dragon in, so we could actually go and take out something to get use this card. Um, no, I want to keep that. I wanna, let's see. Hmm. I may not. Use, I'll just put it in there. It's fine. So I went over my. I went one over my. But I'm not putting any artifacts in either, so. We'll put you in there. We'll put two of you in there. So this is all about dealing damage. Everything that comes in deals damage immediately. That's the whole idea behind an ag a burning aggro deck. To each opponent, that's actually pretty good. Because we do we have a lot of spells, so we'll put that in there. We have two more cards we can add. Let's add some like well, let's add some legendaries. Uh, he gains control if I spend mana. I don't really like that. Trample at the beginning of each uh, in step if Inferno Hellion attacked or blocked it this turn, its owner suffered shuffles into their library. Okay, no, I want him. Trample and haste. He comes out and starts yeah, put two of him in there. There we go. Alright, so let's check try this deck out. Okay, so we gotta name it. Where's it at? New deck. So we we can click on this. We can actually name it uh burn. There we go. Burn deck. So this is our burn deck. Uh B U R N There we go. Alright. Uh, ok. 
Okay, so now we go home. And then the only way you know if you have a good deck is to play test it. The only way to play test it is to actually play it. So we'll go ahead and click on our burn deck. Let's try it out, guys. Let's see how we do. I got a lot more spells than I do creatures, so I'm, I'm more spell heavy than I'm creature heavy. But remember, I'm only working with 15 land. But if you notice, a lot of the cards I picked had very low mana cost. So I don't need that much mana to do anything I want to do with my deck. That's what burn decks are all about, is doing the most damage with the least amount of uh, mana. It's one of the ideas of that. But I'm giving you an idea of how to build a deck, too. Opponent goes first. So we can we play off of one mana is the question. No. So we want to mulligan. We're going to mulligan. It's our turn. We're going to mulligan. Come on. We still only got one, but I don't want to mulligan again. All right. Why is it? We'll keep it. He's going to go first. I always like to be nice and say hello. Proper manners. Uh, so we have a land coming up. So that's good. It's good for us. So we know we can play cards pretty much right away. That Siege Gang Commander is going to be awesome. Get him out. Because you, when he, he brings out tokens and you sacrifice one, you can deal two damage to anything. So you can sit there and just sit there and proc people. Alright. We don't need to put that out. We don't need to do that yet. I mean, I, ideally I would I would just burn him. But I'm wait, I wanted to bring a creature out so I can, just, I can destroy his creature. So he knows I have a card I can play because I pause during my land phase. See, like that? I'm getting the it's a it's a rare. And it says at the beginning of your instep, if they, if you gain five or more life, create a four four. Yeah, no, you're going bye bye. What? Yeah. That's why I didn't want to play that card yet. And we got nothing. If it doesn't work, if, it, if we are having a mana issue, we can always go back in, take a couple cards out, add a couple lands in. Artifact. Okay, let's move with this artifact goes. The beginning of combat turn, create a token with a copy of equipment. Okay. There's a land. Now we can bring him out. Nope, that's an instant. Attacking creatures. Nah, that sucks. We got. We didn't get any of our small. We got all of our big stuff, but we don't have anything small. Like all the small goblins that I would want to have out right now, I didn't draw anything. That's all. Make a copy of what? You don't you don't have anything out. Okay. There's a land. Now we'll bring her out. She never dies. This creature literally never dies. As long as they don't kill it. Now, if he kills it and it goes to the graveyard, then it then I think uh and then I think it can die. But if he can't directly kill it. Yeah, he exiled it. I don't have an I don't have a destroy enchantment, so that was a good play by him. You got rid of because that's that that card essentially you can't get rid of unless you do something like that. You either destroy it right away or you keep it from being in the battlefield. I need one more land for my siege gang commanders, and then I can start doing some damage. For strike and life flank. Is that three? Yeah. Yeah, that's 
Let's go ahead and get over here. There we go, there's a, there's a token. And that'll help our commanders. Is the fact that he comes in and he, he gives us a token. So when we get our commanders out, it'll make it even better. So we can, because that's the whole thing behind the commanders. You want to sacrifice tokens to, to, uh, to do damage so you can get rid of anything in front of you. So these guys can, the commanders themselves can come through. I'll show you a really cool move that we'll be able to do here in a little bit. We can get another land. We didn't. We got another one of these guys. There's a cool move we can do once we get, the, once we get him out of play. We, there's something really cool we can do. No, nope. This is a burn deck. I'm supposed to be already have beaten this guy, but I got a bad draw, so I got two bad draws. I had to mulligan. So we might play two games. They'll fly over for three. Token gains haste. Oh, he made a copy of it. Oh, shit. That's not good. He didn't attack. That's weird. Ah! I need one more land. Because I want the commander to come out. There's a reason. Oh, no, never mind. Never mind. I was thinking something else. I was thinking of doing something else. Never mind. Can't do that. I like this guy, the idea of this guy's deck. See, that's what sucks. Is now he's like really gonna hit me hard. Yeah. I don't have anything to block with. I don't have anything to flying. I like how I like the subtext. Just says, it used to say the subtext was just say catch. this we gotta we gotta do something I guess I right, well, I wanna get this one oh it's hex proof so I, I can't grab any of these they're hex proof Hex proof means I can't target them with a spell or an ability. Alright. That's that. That's what over the. So all his cards are hex proof, so I can't do any damage directly to him. Oh, look at look how far back I'm going. Oh my goodness. Wow, I took a lot of. I lost a lot of experience for that. Let's try this again. Um, 
I, I'm confident that f at five, 15 mana is fine. I think I just had a bad draw on that one. He's a higher tier than me. You see he's got the two, I only got the one. So he's like bronze two. I keep, I have not a problem getting out of bronze three, but that's a lot of it is I haven't gotten good decks yet. See, I start with two this time. I'll keep it. Stay with the land I have. See, and it gives me the advantage now. Because he would have been able to play something. Now I can now I can hit him for three. He has no he has nothing to do anything. So he's gonna take two or three damage either way. Actually, no, I don't want to attack with you. I just want to attack with him. Make him take two from his own creature. Take the three. Okay. Okay. So he has a sacrifice creature, he's going to take five. Sacrifice creature, and he's gonna take three. This is how it's supposed to work. Like I'm sitting there constantly putting pressure on. I'm making, I'm having to make him make really quick decisions that he doesn't want to make. Dead next turn. Because we have lava axe will kill him with next turn. So it doesn't matter. That's a direct damage. It doesn't. I got I'll hit him with a good game. This is no, oh, he's actually dead. Oh no, yeah, he's one life. Uh, this that's how burn deck works. So that's a good example of how it should work. It should be very quick. I'm five, six turns in. It doesn't matter. He thinks, oh, because he's got a. He does not have lava axe thing in my hand. Catch. That's how you do it, ladies and gentlemen. That's a burn deck. In a nutshell, that's uh, that's a very generic burn deck. Uh, if I had a lot more red cards, 
Oh, I'm getting all that back. Look at me getting all that back. All that I lost. Because I was like, damn, I went down way too much. Damn. I had it all back on that. Because he was, he was a higher tier player that I beat. Hey, we got a reward. So we're getting up there as far as we want to buy a box of boosters and stuff like that. Um, we're, we're getting there. Right now we can buy 12 booster packs. And I haven't decided which ones I'm going to buy yet. I'm still looking into that. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I'm doing these every Monday. Uh, if you have an idea for a video for a uh, deck you would like to see me build. Or uh, if you have any questions on... Um, Magic the Gathering, how to play it, anything like that. You know, I'm hope, hopefully I'm explaining enough for you, uh, enough of the game um, for you guys. Uh, so you got, you see, I lost one, but I won one. So it, that, that's called playtesting. So when you build a new deck, you always playtest to see if it works good. Obviously, there's a few kinks in that deck, but it, overall, um, on the second second time I played it, it worked because I was able to get the cards I needed to get, and bam, just like that. It's all about it's an aggro deck, so it's all about constantly putting pressure. Every turn you should either be doing direct damage to the player or attacking with your creatures to do damage to either their creatures or their player. That's how an aggro deck works. That's how a burn deck works. Burn decks are based off of more spells than creatures, but uh, usually you're going to have goblins involved in that. And burn decks usually come from red anyways. But um, if there's a deck you guys want me to play, if there's uh, you know, a defender deck, a uh, theme deck, uh, you, you want me to do just one of the pre-constructeds that I have, I mean, you guys can look. I have a lot of them. So... Any of them that don't have, like, like these are my two pre-made decks that I've made myself. These are all pre-constructed. So if you want to see me do one of these decks, play one of these decks, just let me know in the comments below. Um, but on that note, I hope everybody has a great day, and uh, I hope everybody enjoys the video. If you do, make sure to like the video. Uh, leave me a comment on everything I just asked. Uh, if you haven't already done so, subscribe and um, share the video, guys. I love you all. I hope everybody has a great day, and I will see you uh, next Monday with another Magic Monday. Have a great day. Bye, guys.